So today marks the one year anniversary of Blur Exterminator. And I'm guessing by now everyone knows uh, what Blur X is. It is one of the three most important uh, processes you can use in PixInsight, for example, uh, along with Star Exterminator and Noise Exterminator, uh, which makes everybody's life much easier. So today has been a year since it got released and Russell Crowman, uh, who is the developer for this, just released version number two of Blur X, which is very, very, very impressive. And I really want to show you guys really quickly what it does. Uh, as you can see here, you have a, a list of all the new um, added features. And most specifically, what I want to care about is to show you what it does on images with, for example, tilt or really bad stars in your corners, and also on images that have out of focus stars. So here in PixInsight, uh, as you can see, we have two images open. Uh, one is M41 just at random, because I know this image has some issues in the corners from my SVX130. And we also have an image here of the Milky Way white field, which is completely out of focus. So here I'll show you, for example, if we go zoom in on this corner here, you have a lot of issues. Look at those stars, they're all elongated. And same for the bottom here, and it's like this all over the image, well, at least on the corners. And this issue is mostly annoying with full frame cameras and um, you know, telescopes with tilt or with uh, internal reflections. And so if we go to the preview tab here, I'm just going to apply really quickly what the previous version of Blur X was. And by uh, checking correct only here, so we just correct the stars and see if it can you know, correct those stars uh, like it's supposed to. And as you can see, there is almost no difference here. So this was you know, the regular Blur X as of before today. And if you do before and after, as you can see, it's not almost nothing changes. But now if we switch to Blur X Terminator 2, uh, it's going to just look for yourself. I'm going to apply this here. And in just a few seconds, you will see a much, much better result than before. And for me, this is going to be a, a life changing thing because this refractor, I simply cannot fix those reflections in there. And look at that. Besides those big bright stars, almost all the other stars have, uh, have been fixed. Um, you do see some faint tails, uh, no, some faint elongated tails still, but this is a huge zoom in. So if you look at the whole image, you won't even see those tails. But with this process applied, as you can see, almost, I would say 90% of the issue is gone. Look at those tiny stars here. If we zoom in, we do before and after, look at the difference. Many of them are now just completely round and perfect. Whereas before they were completely elongated and horrible. And same for all the corners. If I just apply this to the entire image now, you will see that all the corners will be, will be fixed, which is insane. Uh, it honestly makes me almost regret uh, how many nights I spent outside trying to fix tilt to be perfect. Because now with this, of course it's better to have, you know, perfect, no tilt at all. But if you still have some minor issues and don't want to spend the next 20 nights trying to fix it, this will now take care of it. And I think it's just insane. And so, yeah, as you can see here, the process is done for the entire image and all the corners are now fixed besides those very bright stars. And um, you know, once again, 90%, 95% of all these stars have been fixed in just one process, which is nuts. Okay, and then now we'll move on to the uh, out of focus image, which I wanted to show you as a second example, because it just shows you how many things you can fix uh, with this new version. And yes, you could uh, kind of fix the out of focus stars in the past as well, but uh, it used to give you some really strange looking stars. And I have compared the before and after uh, results, and this will be much better as you, you will see here. So here we have a Milky Way white field. And if we look at the preview here, so we can take a, a small area and zoom in, look at those stars, they are horrible. So if we apply this new version to it right away, let's see the result. So specifically look at the Lagoon Nebula on top left and at the cluster on the bottom right. And uh, look how much of a difference you will see here. And bam, <gasps> look, all these stars are now looking great. The Lagoon itself is no longer hidden by those ugly bloated stars. 
And most impressive, if you go look at the, the cluster there, let's do a before and after. Look at that. Before, you couldn't even tell what that was. And after, it's like a regular perfect cluster, which is insane. Um, yeah, it's the, the progress that this is making is just completely nuts to me. It makes life easier and easier over time. And it's, wow. And uh, yeah, before and after, once again, is just crazy. And you can see here a comparison between uh, the previous version and the 2.0 version. And even though it's a bit hard to, to see, if you zoom in, some stars looked very strange in the past and now they look completely natural. So this is really great. If you don't already have a blur exterminator, you really, really should. And uh, I know it's not, you know, it's not cheap because you also have to count the two other uh, plugins which are very, very useful for processing. So Star Exterminator and Noise Exterminator. But this trifecta of, uh, of plugins are com completely must-haves if you plan on processing images. So um, I will have a link below for BlurX if you want. And you can now, I guess, as of today, download the 2.0 version, which is a, a huge improvement. And I can't even imagine what will be you know, 3.0, 4.0 in the future. It's going to be insane. So uh, I also have, I believe, a guide on uh, the website to tell you how to install these processes if you need help. And I will also have the link uh, below if you need. So I'll see you guys next time and clear skies.